I don't even know if this axe is worth it anymore. But anyways, here we go. Hey guys, I won't bother you with the quick announcement intros like I usually do, but for anyone new, I recommend checking other videos of mine seeing as there is most likely videos that will help you out. And judging by the fact only 5% of my viewers are subscribed, that means the vast majority of you should be checking my other videos. The Raiders Axe. In my early days as a wee boy, I used to use this. I don't know how to spell wee, I just spelt it like the console within my script. But about a year ago, this item was considered a good item for early game. Probably still is, but with more and more items continuously dropping in value, I feel as though an aspect of the end is always ever so closer to being the same value as an undead sword. But even to this day, I see people bidding high amounts in the auction house for the Raiders Axe. My first question is, why? And my second question is, do you need help? Of course you clicked on this video. First, let's look at what you need. That's relatively simple. You need 9 raw fish, a magical water bucket, and 130,000. With 8 of the 9 raw fish, you need to make a fish hat. This is acquired at raw fish 1. Then make your way to the park. The raider's axe can be collected by the viking who misses the sound of the sea. Did you know vikings were fond of board games? Nefertafel, also known as viking chess, is a strategy game that uses figurines to represent two rivaling armies. It was often played in medieval Scandinavia. Talk to him and extinguish his fire because the room is sort of getting a little bit humid. Then maybe he's a bit hungry. So what you'd want to do is you'd want to chuck the fish into the oven giving him a fish in viking culture would indicate that you see him as a higher position and power. Lastly, due to his lack of social interaction since disbanding from other vikings, you'd want to go ham on the shift button until he is given such a nostalgic hit that Thor has to clap him with lightning before he gets too excited. Then he'll tell you a bunch of things and then you can open up the shop, uh, which will include the lovely raider's axe. Epic, now you have it, but there is more to it. I won't go into it in this video, but if you want to check out how to enchant it, then be sure to click the link in the description. Well, there you have it. As the Vikings would say, Verschamst. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe. If you need guides or other things, then be sure to comment and I'll work towards making that a video. It's been your boy Pomegranate, and I'll catch you later.